Hey everyone, uh, my name is RJ Hakes. I'm with the uh, Hakes Art and Custom Framing. And uh, as you know, we do a lot of uh, jersey framing in the shop. Um, I would actually say that by now, we're doing about 80% uh, of our work as jerseys. And, um, and then the rest is, you know, sort of general. We haven't done videos like these in a while, but I think this upcoming project uh, kind of deserves a you know, sort of a multi-part video series, if you will, uh, because it's kind of a unique, a unique project that we have, right? So it's not just your basic uh, jersey with a couple patches and then that's it, or a photo. This one is actually a little bit more complicated. And I was telling my wife that I had kind of an epiphany of really what makes us unique in the industry. Uh, so this this gentleman contacted us and he has kind of an interesting project and um, and then it hit me that really what we do different is that whatever vision people might have you know we can make it happen and, and I think people get inspired hopefully by the work that we post online not so much because they want a project that's identical to something they might see but because they have a vision they reach out to us and they say, well, maybe this company can make it happen for me. And so with that said, let me go ahead and show you what this project um, actually entails. So, so we have, you know, a, uh, you know, your, your standard jersey, and you can kind of see it here. Uh, but the interesting thing about this project, first of all, it's going to have two jerseys kind of uh, stacked. So that's going to be that main jersey. And then I'm going to set up this one here. This is kind of a kit's t-shirt that's going to go below that. And so it's going to be kind of like that. And yeah, you know, it has a lot of patches. And kind of see a ton of patches here from the Florida Marlins and uh, some additional patches that you see here. So we're going to distribute them across. We're actually working on two separate frames for the same customer. He has two kids, and so he's going to, you know, give uh, each of his kids uh, one of the frames. It's going to be really cool. And then there's a lot of photos here, uh, as you can see, that are going to be, you know, sort of mounted and distributed throughout the project, which is really cool. What makes this project really interesting is that he also sent us a couple of these, um, they call it, uh, Wi-Fi cloud frames, they're digital frames, right? And they're from a company called Nix Play, and they're really cool. In fact, I have one here. So he said, you know, the first thing I want you to do, RJ, when you get him, is plug him in and connect him to your Wi-Fi, and then photos will start to, to play. And that's really cool. And one of the things that uh, that I really like about this type of digital frame is that it's actually um, it's actually motion sensitive so I have it in the shop and every time I get close to it it kind of starts playing which is really cool right and as soon as it doesn't sense anyone around it just kind of shuts off really cool so this is also cloud-based which means that uh, they're going to be able to drive photos through the cloud just by uploading to a centralized place. And then on the other end, uh, the other, you know, the person with the frame is gonna be able to see the frames uh, sort of in real time, which is really cool, right? So this gentleman sees our work online and he says, uh, he contacted me and he's like, RJ, I have this idea, right, of putting a couple jerseys like that, kind of stacked, you know, do your, your, your standard thing where we put patches, we do the photos as well, but at the bottom, I want you to add one of these frames. And let me go ahead and take one of these frames out of the box and kind of see it there, but I'm gonna take the one that's off. And, you know, first of all, I want you to notice how big these things are. They're about 13.1 inches, so they're massive. And so it's gonna sit at the bottom like that. Let me back up a little. So you're gonna have the, the big baseball jersey, the t-shirt at the bottom is gonna be the frame patches and everything. And it's just gonna look incredible, right? So this is kind of a challenge for us. We've never placed 
anything this big inside. We've done baseballs and footballs and some of the things that are easy to mount. Uh, but this is going to be kind of a challenge uh, because we're going to have to mount it securely, right? We're going to ship this out uh, to the customer once we're done. And so it's going to have to be secure and it's going to have museum glass and obviously it's going to be mounted and uh, the thing we don't want, let me show you the back of this the back of this digital frame. So that's kind of half of it right there. You can see the power cable uh, coming out. And then um, this is the box. So there's a, let me put it over away from the light. So that's a box. It has the other side of the cable, uh, which is going to be attached to this right here. It's got a really cool remote control that allows you to drive the photos, next, previous, create a playlist, and so forth. And, you know, this has to be done right because once we put the glass, seal the frame, uh, I'm going to leave the cable hanging out through the back of the frame so that they can plug it in and the whole thing should start, right? We can't have any issues because the customer is not going to be able to open it up and, and make modifications. So I'm actually working on a stand slash cradle for this to go inside the frame. And then frame-wise, um, you, you probably have seen us use this massive frame. I'm going to just kind of put it there. Look at that frame. That's about four inches tall, deep, and it's massive. And we're going to need it because we're going to attach the stand, the cradle, uh, where the digital frame is going to sit to it and it's just going to be really, really cool. So going back to the epiphany that I had, I, I think what happens is when people see the work that we do, like I said, it's not so much that they say, I want to, I want you to make me one, a frame, just like the Von Miller, you know, frame that you have with the football field, although we get requests like that. But I think what we're beginning to see from our customers is that they see what we can do. Hopefully they see the quality of work that we do. And then they say, you know, I have a digital frame that I want you to put inside. Or I have a ton of photos. Or I have a baseball that I want you to suspend. Or a huge photo along with the jersey. Or maybe a cleat from a soccer player that is signed. And so what's exciting about that is that we're always kind of looking forward to and excited when we get certain requests because we know that it's going to be interesting uh, because our customers are seeing a lot of the things that we're doing. So that's what's really exciting. That's probably the, the lesson that we learned from this and that uh, we appreciate that from our customers that they have so much faith in us that we can actually make that vision happen for them. So again, I think this is this is worthy of a sort of a, a multi-series uh, uh, video, um, and this is kind of the first one, if you will, uh, just kind of you know putting out the vision, and then you know as soon as we iron out the jerseys and we stretch them, we'll likely come back and do a second video. So stay tuned. I'm not sure if I'm gonna you know stitch all of them together and just kind of do one long one, or I'm gonna post one and then second one and so forth. But stay tuned. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.